Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring the official UCCW tutorial. A lot of people see this, this skin and be like, or this widget and be like, how do I put this in? What is what is a hotspot? What how do I add icons? What is a G, what how do I add Gmail stuff? Well, this tutorial is for you guys. I'll be bringing you from a stock white ugly skin all the way to something like this although it's not the best looking but it provides you with all the information that you need as well as hotspots as when you touch something like the clock it'll bring up the clock the date and you'll bring up the, the calendar and stuff like text messages you know how we do so let us begin with the tutorial let's do it all right starting from our very bare home screen we're gonna hold down and say widgets provided you're using apex launcher or nova launcher or the like scroll down to uccw once you've installed it and we want to select a four by three a one by five is something quite vertical and a five by one is something quite horizontal like a line so a four by three is something that's quite good in the middle and still provides us with all the information that we need all right so now bringing up here we'll have two options create new skin or open up a user if you see something on my color screen that you like and that user provides all the details including a user you copy that user onto your phone and then go open user find where you installed it and then boom opens up your user simple as that next we have an option of creating new skin which is where you start from the very scratch and this is where most people get afraid but don't worry guys be not afraid we're gonna go create new skin and start off from a fresh blank slate once we have our, our here there's a few things that you need to take note of. The bottom is our controls area where we can slide through different controls for different objects. If you want to select an object, we go select object and it'll bring up, there's nothing for now, but you can bring up all the objects that you want to select. Next is the plus minus button, which is add items to your widget, which provides you with, look at all of these, look at all of them, look. All of these widgets that you can add onto your UCCW skin making it look all badass. Next is sort, which sometimes gets important. As you can see, there's nothing added now, but if some, something gets behind something, or you go sort and you move it to the front like that. Also, we have our little options here. We can do it at the bottom, where you can open, manage, import, export, etc. Hotspots mode is quite important. We want to turn it off when we're editing as we don't want it because if it's on and you tap it it'll just do nothing because it's only looking for hotspots also you want to always save your skin otherwise if you drag it into the X well sorry for you as well as export skin if you want to publish it onto my color screen so that other people can enjoy it alrighty so let's start off with our background now it's quite bare but I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm gonna add shapes over it so that I can have a border as well as this little line. Now I'm going to show you just how to add shape 1 and shape 2. It's pretty much exactly the same except a different color. Now for our alpha, that changes our transparency. As you can see it goes boom wow. And for our shape it does the same thing. Boom wow like that. Now the position, we can normally position it like this. But it's not easy to fine tune it. So we can go faster movement for finer for quite quick movements and then take off faster movement for very fine tuning gets in very handy for our color we can move our color around like this as well as changing the colors like so so if I want it black and I save it as black it gets saved at the bottom here in the new version of UCCW which is pretty neat in my mind all right so we'll go okay for the color because we want it black angle that's whenever you want to rotate something. Look at that. Whee, whee. All right, so we want a zero for now. And I'll, we'll scroll across. This is where you can change also a lot of things. Our style, we can change our the type of the shape to be a line, rectangle, oval, or triangle. And when you select rectangle, you can change the roundness, which is quite neat if you don't want it always square 90 degrees. Now, most important one here, which we'll be using quite a lot, is our width, which you can drag like that, as well as our height. Look at that. Now, that's for faster movement, and our plus minus 
is for final movement. So now you just need to rearrange that, put it like there, and then we can just make the width a bit more and the height a bit more as well. Now I'm just going to add in another shape over here, and all that is is a rectangle with a color of white. Boom, and there we have our background. Next we'll be starting adding in everything on the left hand side such as our time and date, weather, etc.